Oh, hello, everybody. This is Read Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today, we're going to talk about the Nitrous Cars possibly dominating No Prep King Season 5 under the new rules. Now, before I go to go directly to their final owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Racers and all the other Street Outlaws shows. So, since the new rules came out with the official base weights for every single combination, a lot of people have been saying that the Nitro Cars won't be able to be beat this season. Now, they do have a point, because last season, Nitro Cars were extremely competitive, and especially at the high altitude tracks, like Tucson and Bandemir, they just mopped the floor with the other combos, because the Nitro Cars do shine at the high altitude, because they do create their own oxygen. So, Blissy Musi, Bird Boys, and Kai Kelly were running extremely fast last season with her Pat Musi or Charlie Buck in Bird Boys' case, 959 cubic inch motors. Especially Lissy, which I believe had the fastest car altogether last season, with the exception of some runs with Ryan Martin. But every time she raced Ryan, I mean, they raced extremely, extremely close together. I mean, Lissy would beat Ryan by inches, or Ryan would beat Lissy by inches. I mean, those two cars were the fastest cars out there. Now, this year, the Pro Charger Combo got 50 pounds on their base weight, and if they run that 36-inch tall tire, which goes the same for the, the Nitrous cars, especially Lissy that runs that 36-inch tall tire, they got to add 50 pounds. So basically, that is roughly 100 pounds more for Ryan and the rest of the Pro Charger cars, which this year, there's a lot more Pro Charger cars. So the Nitrous cars could still weigh 2550. And that is very light. That is roughly within 100 pounds of what a Pro Mod Pro Nitrous car can weigh. Those cars weigh 2450, 2425, and they run 360s with basically the same engine combo and same transmission combo. Kai, Lissy, and the Bird Boys, and any other big Nitrous car is running on NPK. It's basically the same drivetrain. So, as of this year, the Pro Charger cars are going to be slightly slower, or at least close to being as fast as last year. And the Nitrous cars, I believe, are going to be faster. So, that is a big thing. And especially the high altitude tracks, I don't think the boosted cars could run with a Nitrous car. So, I do see a big possibility of a Nitrous car winning this year's championship. 